We know, we know, it's hard to believe, but it's officially over. The saga of Kylian Mbappe's future came to an end, as he chose to resign with Paris Saint-Germain. Let us know in the comments below how you feel about Kylian's decision. And let's get down to business. We have a lot of breaking news today. This year, the majority of football fans had no doubt that Mbappe is going to continue his career at Real Madrid. But PSG turned everything upside down in the last few days. Kylian has officially signed a contract extension with PSG through to 2025. The deal was announced ahead of the final Liga 1 match against Mets. Kylian came out to the pitch with club president Nasser Al Hilafi and said the following. I'm really happy to continue the adventure here at Paris Saint-Germain, to stay in Paris, my city. I hope that I will continue to do what I prefer to with you all and with titles together. Thanks a lot, Mbappe announced. And here's what the PSG president said. It's an exceptional moment in the history of PSG. Mbappe now becomes the cornerstone of the club's project for years to come, on and off the pitch. I'm very proud and very happy. We are gonna open the most beautiful pages of our history. Neymar also hasn't missed an opportunity to speak out. He is a world-class player, present and future of this club. I'm very happy that Kylian, who is my friend and teammate, he is staying here in Paris. While Real Madrid striker Karim Benzema seems to have taken it very painfully. He posted an Instagram stories with a photo of a famous rapper Tupac Shakur and a friend who betrayed him. That's quite an illustrative response. And friends, it's been a while since we last hit 5000 likes. Let's do this now. Drop a thumbs up to celebrate the end of the Kylian Mbappe saga. According to us journalist Andres Onrubia, Kylian Mbappe will receive a signing bonus of 300 million euros. The Frenchman's salary will increase to 100 million euros per year after taxes. If the source doesn't lie, this means Kylian will become the highest paid player in football history. And this is how the internet reacted to such crazy stuff. Just look at that picture that speaks for itself. Moreover, Kylian was assured that he will be involved in choosing a new head coach and sporting director, as well as signing or selling players at PSG. After finding out about the financial side of Mbappe's contract we mentioned above, La Liga sent an official complaint to UEFA demanding an investigation. What PSG is doing by renewing Mbappe with a large sum after giving losses of 700 million euros in recent seasons and having more than 600 million euros of salary bill is an insult to football. They are as dangerous as the Super League. La Liga president Javier Tebas stated. There is also a different opinion within the community. The opposite point of view was quite succinctly expressed by the former Barcelona player and famous pundit Gary Lineker. I love Spanish football, but the bleeding about Kylian Mbappe staying at PSG is ruining the sport a bit much. The two Spanish giants have always attracted and paid enormous sums for the game's superstars. No one else got a look in. Can't always have things our own way. He wrote on Twitter. Fabrizio Romano reported that Kylian Mbappe personally told Florentino Perez that he won't join Real Madrid, as he decided to extend the contract with PSG. Mbappe has changed his mind after a meeting featuring his family, PSG board, and owners in Qatar. According to the source, this was a dialogue between Kylian and Florentino Perez. I inform you that I have decided to stay at PSG. I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to play for Real Madrid, the club I've been a fan of since I was a kid, Mbappe texted. And Perez responded as follows. I regret what has happened in the last days. They have broken the dream you had since you were a child. I wish you the best. And this is what Al Hilafi said to Paris, according to the fans. Real Madrid obviously weren't happy with Kylian Mbappe's decision to extend his contract with PSG. The club has decided that the Frenchman's maneuver means the matter of his move to Bernabeu is closed once and for all. Mbappe will never play for Real Madrid. Now Los Blancos will try to intercept Robert Lewandowski from Barcelona and will also focus on the transfer of Monaco star Aurelien Chomany. Zinedine Zidane is currently the main contender to replace Mauricio Pochettino as PSG head coach. Various sources report that the appointment of Zidane was one of Mbappe's demands for a contract extension. Also, the Parisians are gonna fire the sporting director as Leonardo leaves Paris, and most likely he'll be replaced by Luis Campos. 
This is the man who crafted a stellar squad in Monaco, bringing in Mbappe, Bernardo Silva, Fabinho and many others. As previously reported, the clash against Mets was Angel Di Maria's last game in the PSG shirt. The Argentine came out in the starting lineup and managed to score. During the celebration, he couldn't stop crying. Angel was coming off the pitch in a standing ovation. Then, after the match, he was awarded a commemorative prize appreciating the seven years he spent in Paris. This was the perfect farewell. Angel didn't have a lot of time for emotions, though. The Argentine was asked about his potential Juventus move amid a lot of rumors linking the Argentine winger with Turing. He replied, Juventus? No, no, I'm quite. There is time. I have to think. It's not just my decision. I've always thought of myself and my family. I'll make the best choice for everyone, my two daughters, my wife and me. There is a reason to believe that Barcelona are set to sell Frankie de Jong. On the way out of the club space, journalists noticed that the Dutchman had boxes of stuff in the car. He was also handing out boots and shirts to fans. Frankie told them that he wanted to say goodbye to everyone who waited for him every day near the basement. For me, Frankie is a great player. He's a beast. I like him and I think he can be part of an important era of the club. We will see the economic situation of the club, but I like De Jong. Xavi commented on the matter. Manchester United are the main favorite in signing De Jong, especially taking into account their new head coach Eric Ten Hag, who worked with Frankie at Ajax and would be happy to see their union at Old Trafford. It's expected that Barca will ask for about 70 million euros for the 25-year-old midfielder, which is an acceptable price for the Red Devils. Barcelona made a 32 million euros offer to Bayern for Robert Lewandowski. This bid wasn't good enough for the mini club, as they intend to get about 40 million euros for the Poe. Lewandowski is one of the options. It won't be easy. Regarding the financial situation, Laporta told me we'll be able to reinforce the team. There is confidence, Xavi claimed. While Robert Lewandowski intends to move only to Barcelona, the Pole doesn't negotiate with other clubs and waits for Bayern to find a replacement for him and accept the offer. After the failed plan with Mbappe's transfer, Real Madrid have chosen three forwards as potential signings instead of the Frenchman. The main candidate is Everton striker Richarlison. Carlo Ancelotti knows the Brazilian well since he was a head coach of the Totis. His transfer looks realistic right now. The short list of potential transfers also includes Liverpool wingers Masalah and Sadio Mane. Both have their contracts expiring next year. Hence, there is a chance to get one of them at an affordable price. However, negotiations on the Liverpool players will be held only after the Champions League final. The season is crossing the finish line. This is one of the most fascinating and decisive moments in football. In Germany, Freiburg and Leipzig arranged a real spectacle in the cup final. Agus Stein opened the score for Freiburg and Leipzig was one man down, but anyway managed to equalize after Christopher and Kuka's goal. Eventually, they determined the winner in a penalty shootout, in which Leipzig was a better side, lifting the first trophy in their history. In Serie A, Atalanta and Fiorentina competed for place in the Conference League, having an equal number of points before the final round. It looked like Fiorentina had a tougher task facing Juventus, while Atalanta played against Serie A underdog Ampoli. But in the end, it was the Violets that achieved a 2-0 victory, as Atalanta got a 0-1 defeat and will spend the next season without European competitions. In France, we had the final match day in Liga 1, with an intriguing atmosphere in every part of the standings except for the first place. PSG thrashed Mets as Kylian Mbappe celebrated his contract extension with a hat-trick. Marseille beat Strasbourg 4-0, securing the Champions League group stage spot. Monaco took third place, which sent them into the Champions League qualifiers. Rennes will play in the Europa League, while Nice will compete in the Conference League. Mets and Bordeaux were relegated. Saint-Étienne is preparing for playoff clashes to save their French elite status. Dear friends, make sure to check out the video on Inside Football about Cristiano Ronaldo and his son's recovery methods after training and games. We bet these will shock you. And that was Football News. Thank you for watching, have a nice one, and see you in a bit.